Hello everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. This is our daily angelic message for March 26, 2024. I almost said 2023. Sometimes it's meaningful. Go back and see what was happening for you on this date. You know, I have videos, like thousands of videos up on my YouTube channel. I didn't always date them. But, you know, if you do find one that has today's date, but in 2023, go listen to that. If you can't find that, that's fine too. Just pick one because there's an additional message there for you. We have the number 31 here, dry desert. This very much feels like all of us have struggled, maybe even suffered, okay? And there's been a lot of that. And yet, you're in a place where you have, if you want to see it... Um, in this way of sort of like, I've made the desert my home. I was once intimidated about being here. I was once intimidated about surviving. Fearful about surviving my situations. And yet now I've learned to thrive. Even in the most barren environment. Which is not actually, there's cactus back there. <laughs> Cacti, is that the word? Um, you've, you've learned to acclimate. You've learned to make the best of it. But what's interesting is the moment you've become not complacent, okay? That's not what we're talking about. We're not talking about being complacent with uh, struggling. But once you've just gotten to a place of resilience and fortitude, your, your fortune changes. I feel like money is coming up for a lot of people as well it should. There's a lot going on and a lot more to come. I keep talking about how banks are going to fail. They failed a long time ago. They're just covering it up. Okay. But I heard on, um, was it? it was a certain platform. Someone said, um, how, how is a, a government organization, the government that's I think $30 trillion in debt or whatever the number is, how are they determining our credit scores? <laughs> and I was like, there we go. That is a prime example of things that get put out there to make us feel less than. All right, so most of, at least here in the United States, comment down below if you're from somewhere else and tell us what's going on for you there. But we get squeezed and squeezed and squeezed and squeezed and squeezed and squeezed and squeezed. And even if you're trying to find a second job because now the first job's not doing it or you're just trying to find work at all, right? And all these recruiters playing games, these companies playing games, they squeeze you and then wag their finger at you and say, shame, shame. You know, you, you should be doing better. You should own a house by now. Why would you own a house right now? Oh, look into it. Look into it. <laughs> well, I'm, I'm not an expert, but I'm just saying, check check with the experts about that. Um, but anyway, you know, getting into all of these like self-loathing kind of moments of, oh, that's right, I should be maybe in a relationship. But maybe you thrive better when you're single. Again, look into that. You know, social media is really great for people having a voice and sharing their experiences. How many people have just, because they're in a partnership, think that they're better? Go back and watch episodes of Sex in the City. Protected, because it's very toxic. But, <laughs> but like, there's, like, a whole episode where Carrie gets shamed over a pair of shoes uh, by someone that she has spent, like, thousands of dollars on to travel to her wedding, give her a wedding present, you know, bridal shower things. And then because of something that this woman was hosting, she lost her shoes out of this, right? And then that person was like, I shouldn't have to pay for your shoes, right? Like that's an example of like twisting people and not like being discouraged from going down the path that is right for you. If being single is right for you, this is how you create. This is how you preserve your energy. You don't have to apologize for that. And it doesn't make you unlovable if you want to be on your own. You see what I'm saying? Or you don't want a certain type of job. Even though everyone tells you that you have to have that. You see what I'm getting at? So this is that time where you're like, okay, I've taken, kind of I've taken enough, but you've learned to be so resilient and you have come through. I think this is really going to open things up for you. All right? So we're going to leave it there. Oh, angelsouls444.com if you want a personal reading. As of the recording of this, I'm running about a one to two day wait time. If a bunch of people pile in, always keep a look at my Angel Souls community tab. I always make sure that I update you. I update daily, actually. Live readings get in now. I don't know how many spots I'm going to have available, like, let's say later next month-ish. So email me at angelsouls444 at gmail.com 
for a live reading or a live teaching session. Okay, so we'll leave it there for real now. I'm sending you all so much love and take care.